Hi Smarties, happy Wednesday, happy April. Today is April 1st. Um, I just got done with our morning meeting. I love seeing your smiling faces in the morning. It's a great way to start my day. Um, I am here with your reading lesson for today. Uh, before we get started on our reading lesson, I don't want you for uh, don't forget to practice your spelling words. So it's supposed to be beautiful out today, um, nice and warm outside. So if you want and you have chalk, go and practice your spelling words um, outside using chalk. Uh, you can use spelling city. Um, you can type your words out. You can use markers and do rainbow words. But part of your reading today is to make sure you practice your spelling words. Um, you can do them verbally, you can have a parent or an adult give them to you. Um, so make sure you practice your spelling words first. Uh, we have our test on Friday. Uh, that's today, then you have tomorrow, and then you have our test. So practice spelling words. Next up, today our special is music. And I told the kiddos in our morning meeting that I would like them, several of them said that they had instruments just laying around the house. I said, pick it up. Play it. See what you can do. Even if you've never played it before. Um, I had I had some of you say that you had drum sets, ukuleles. So if you pick it up, play a tune, figure it out, just have fun with it. Um, if a parent takes a video, they can always send it to me. Or you can always make an instrument. How fun would that be? Find recycled things around the house or go to your recycling bin and Make an instrument. Um, an easy way to make a kazoo is if you have a paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll and you put wax paper over one end of it, like put a rubber band around it to hold it and you blow in the other end and make like a zzz sound, it makes a kazoo noise. You can make your homemade canoes. Uh, kazoos. Uh, not canoes. Kazoos. Uh, so yeah, uh, have fun with it. That is uh, music for today. Um, and then we have reading. So let's get started with some high frequency words, some of our first grade sight words. Let's see, let's do, sorry, I'm trying to find, ooh. I have a hunk and chunk in the middle. You got more, you are correct. More, mm, or more. Let's do another one. You need this to stay alive, which is perfect because we're going to be talking about wants and needs in social studies today. If you got water, you are correct. Water, water. Water, very good. And let's do one more. Let's do, we already did that one. Ooh, this one we do in our phonics dance when we have O W O. The cow goes down. Good job, down. Nice work. Um, if you want to, um, we haven't in our morning meeting been doing our ABC chant or our phonics dance, but if you want to, you can pause the uh, video right now and you can do your ABC chant, okay? And then you can go down here and you can pause it and you can do your phonics dance. Um, and then over here, here are our spelling words. You have bird, blur, warmer, Oldest, important, tomorrow, also, call, fall, and story. So, those are our spelling words for this week. You did your high frequency word. Tomorrow, um, I will be with reading. I'll be doing a phonics lesson, um, and we'll do our other song for this week. So, with that being said, today, in reading... We've been talking about invention, inventions and how things have changed from then and now. Even how the invention of the computer, when that first started, when that first was invented, how that has changed. And it's just interesting to see all of the different things. TVs have changed. Um, they used to be really big in the back, okay, really fat, and now they're 
regular thin little flat screen TV. So it's really interesting to see how things, even after they were invented, how they continue to change. So today our story is, well, it's from the book um, Everyday Inventions. And our story is called Time Savers and Other Helpers by Felix Quintos. And I want you um, to be storing the key ideas in your pocket when I'm reading this. Because when we're done, we're going to do the main idea and the key details. So that's what I want you to be thinking about as I'm doing our read aloud. So here we go. People invent many things. Some things make life better. Others save time. It takes a long time to walk to the top of a 50-story skyscraper. Which of these things can take you to the top of a skyscraper in less time than you can walk? Can a shower do that? Can a refrigerator do that? What about an elevator? One shower, two elevator, or three refrigerator. Which could take you to the top of the skyscraper? If you said two elevator, you are correct. That will take you quickly to the top of a skyscraper. An elevator can. It is quick. At one time, rope, at one time ropes lifted elevators. An elevator would fall if its ropes broke. The first safe elevator was sold in 1853. A safe elevator would not fall if its ropes broke. I don't think I would get in an elevator if I knew that its ropes could break. But... This is how elevators have changed. So, sometimes thirsty people want a smooth drink. Mmm. Which of these things can stir and whirl fruit and milk to make a smooth drink? Mmm. One, a blender. Two, a microwave. Or three, a coffee pot. Which one of these things would make a smooth drink? Actually, I was talking to my mom yesterday. We were FaceTiming, and she had one of these. Made me jealous. Made me want one. But if you guessed a one, a blender, a blender can make a smoothie, a smooth drink out of fruit, uh, milk, yogurt. It can make milkshakes, too. Those are delicious. So, yes, a blender. A blender can. The blender was invented in 1922. Blenders help people to make smooth drinks fast. Which of these things can you use to call someone? One, a TV. Two, a cell phone. Or three, a camera. Which one could you pick up right now and call someone? If you said to a phone, you are correct. Oopsies. You can use a phone. Alexander Graham Bell invented the first phone in 1876. Phones have changed over time. Today, many people use cell phones. Now, a cell phone can fit in a purse. Okay. One of the first original phones to nowadays. Um, if you want to read more about the invention of the telephone um, or about Alexander Graham Bell, you can, on Epic, you can type in um, telephone or you can type in Alexander Graham Bell and they'll bring, you, they'll bring up all of the books um, on the telephone and Alexander Graham Bell and you can learn about him. Um, it is important to see well. It was see well. What may help you see well if things seem blurry? If things seem blurry, and a lot of people have these. So your chart to see, contact lenses, or face mask. Which one of these could help you see well if it's hard for you to see? If you guessed two contacts, you are correct. Contact lenses may help you to see better. The first contact lens were made in the 1880s. They were made of hard glass. Now they are made of soft plastic. What might people invent tomorrow? So that's a good question to kind of end on and, and get you thinking. Um, if you were to invent something, what would you invent? 
uh, maybe you could draw a picture of something um, that you would want to invent that could either help in some way or assist in some way. Um, so think about that. If someone said invent something um, to help out, you know, whether it's you or to help those to help see or hear or do something or deliver something, what could you invent? Um, that's kind of a fun little question to end on. But what I want you to do now is I want you to do our five finger. So you can either do this um, verbally with an adult. You can go up to them and tell them what was the main idea of the story. Okay, and don't forget the title. And what were the key details? Remember, our title of the story was, I believe, let me check. Something time savers. Don't want to get it wrong for you. But our title of the story was Time Savers and Other Helpers. Okay, so that's the title. And then your key details. Give me five things that you got from the book. Whether it's how things started, how they ended, when was something invented. If you need to go back and pause the story and get your facts down, you can. Remember, this is a great way as a visual for all of my visual learners, I love doing this because it helps me get my thoughts down on paper and then I can go and share them with someone. Okay, title, just like your hand, a nice square for your main idea, what was the story mainly about, um, and then your key details, okay, on each finger. And see if you can get five. Sometimes our shorter smart stories are harder to get five. Um, if you can get at least three, great, um, but you should be able to get five out of this one. So that is your reading lesson for today. Um, don't forget to do your uh, reading for today, your 15 to 20 minutes. Um, you can wait until I uh, put up our social studies lesson because I will be assigning, I already actually assigned them to Epic. I assigned two books. Um, on needs and wants, because that's what we're going to talk about in social studies. Um, so don't forget to do your music lesson. Um, have fun with that. Your reading for today. Practice those spelling words. And then your uh, main idea and key details. So have a great Wednesday. I will be back here in a little bit with your social studies and math lesson. Bye for now, Smarties.